Hey, I'm Dr. Lee Vickers, author of Bodies of Light and founder of Lightworkers International. And today we are all talking about bioenergetics. Now, when I say bioenergetics, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about the electricity that comes from you. It's the electricity in you. It's the electricity that flows through you. And when I talk about bioenergetics, I get really excited. And I'll tell you why. Because bioenergetics is the next great leap for mankind into higher states of consciousness. And when I say that, it's a huge understatement. I'm talking about something that's as important as fire was for the caveman. Now, when you say, well, you know, is, he, is this real or what, what is it? Yes, this is real. You've got to understand that the computers that you use today, the phones, the cellular phones you use today, started with a telegraph. Beep, 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 beep. What were they? They were long wires that they stretched and they checked the resistance that happened on both sides of the wire. So when you would touch on this end, beep, 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 it had a communicative force at the other end of the wire. Now we've evolved past that at the point where we have computers, we have cellular phones. We're realizing that there's information flowing all around us in the airwaves this very second. Before, people didn't quite understand that, but we can all understand now that that's happening right this very second. Now, when I'm saying that I'm getting excited about bioenergetics, it's because of what is about to happen. There's a lot of people on this earth that are starting to ignite, that are starting to do things like bodies of light and open up their energy and open up their chakras and ignite their brains and heal their organs and create super strength and super intelligence and very, very, very high levels of living and being. Now, this unfortunately isn't normal yet, but what I propose to you is that it will be. That bioenergetics is going to be one of the greatest leaps, one of the greatest advances for mankind. And when I talk about this, there's many different areas that bioenergetics relates with. It relates not only with your health and knowing that when you check your, your points on your hand, your stomach point, that that indicates low stomach chi. Your heart point indicates low heart chi. Now this chi is energy. Or on your pancreas, that indicates low pancreas chi or liver chi. But it's more than that. It's understanding that there's an overall quantity of energy that you have the ability to plug into. And how are you going to plug into more energy? The way you're going to plug into more energy is by opening up the flows and unblocking the blockages. Now, lucky for us, we actually have a wonderful visitor. Come on up. And it's someone who hasn't done Bodies of Light yet. Hey, welcome. So everyone give, a, give an applause. Come on, that's great. So he's going to be doing Bodies of Light in just a second. And what I want you to understand is some simple stuff. And it's some simple things, so like 0, 1, 9, 10. So we have, when you're testing, this would be a 10 on the heart, right? When we look at pancreas, 1, 9, 10, it's quite good. So he's a young person. Young people, their bodies are usually doing pretty good, right? Now we have stomach, 0, 1, 2. Stomach's not quite as high. Let me see the hand. So we go in here, and of course the stomach point, is that like a little tender? A little bit. And then this one, is that not at all, right? Because his heart's quite good. Let me see this one. It's liver, gallbladder. 
is quite good and pancreas is good. Now we're going to go also to right, left brain, and we've had students, I've had students who when they did Bodies of Light, everything changes. Their grades did amazing. Their life was amazing, and we're going to be talking about that more, but we're doing an example right now during the class to see what happens. So everyone that knows how to test, go on right brain and tell me the number. Tell me the number. What do we get? You got it? What? Right, so it's like a three. So now three would be like 30%, which is just, it's not quite where it should be. We'll go left, go to the left side. Do you guys got it? What do you get? Zero one. Zero one. Okay, so we have left, zero one, right, about three. Okay? Now, overall chi, anyone got that? Is that about 10? About a 10. 10 is neutral. So now what we're going to have is uh, go take him out, do buys of light, and we're going to see the changes in real time. Get going. We're going to keep talking. Go outside. So now, so what we're talking about a 10, and just so you know, a 10 is good. Overall energy of a 10 is good. A 10, your cup is full. Okay? When your cup is full, when your energy is full, it's at a neutral position. Now, if you're lucky... In the, in, in the United States, and you're around people with, at a 10, that's actually quite good. Now, if a person is at a 2, what percentage is that? 20%. That's 20% good, 80% dark energy. So when you're around, so let's say you're in a, in a business environment, and you're around someone that's at a 2, they're a little upset, they're a little angry, they're 80% low. So if your cup is at a 20%, what you're doing to everyone around you is you're sucking in energy, intellectual energy, that work energy is getting sucked out of everyone else into the two, 80%. Now, what if a person is a zero? What if they're at a zero? Give me an example. What's a zero? What percent dark energy? 100% dark energy. So zero means that, like, if you're looking at a scale, 10 is 100%, you know, balanced. A zero is 100% dark energy. So if a person is angry, so they had a, a fight with their wife, they had a problem, what's going to happen is their bioenergy is so low, it's lowering the productivity of the entire office. And I'm sure, see, now people just know intuitively that, you know, all, you know, some, you know, whoever was upset, and then everyone's having to watch out that they don't get upset by them. But see, the thing is that the productivity of the entire office was lowered because of the low bioenergy of that one person. In the future, as things evolve, people are going to find out about this. And number one, when a person has really low bioenergy, they probably won't be hired. Because we know that if a person, and they could be really smart, they could have m memorized all their grades, they could have, you know, talked their way, but the thing is, is that if a person has low bioenergy, some people would say he's not a team player, right? Because they just feel that the person lowers the energy. Bioenergy, what I'm saying in a real way, that this is the next, next leap and next evolution that's going to happen. Now, to give you another example, 10 is neutral. Now, if a person was a billion, and I'll give you an example of someone who's a billion who, uh, uh, that's out there. So the Dalai Lama tends to be a billion to a trillion, meditates a lot. Now, what is it that he's, op what, th what is this bioenergy that he's opening up? What is it? What is it? It's flows of chi, it's flows of energy. Why is it getting opened up? Because he's lowering resistance to the flow. When a person, you understand in this stressful society that we live in, when a person is stressed out, when they're really pushing like this and they're really stressed, they think that they're holding out the world. They think that they're keeping away the stressful incidents as they hold up the resistance. But you know what they're holding out? The light. The light. So that's why all the techniques that work... <sighs> Release the flow of stress and allow the chi or allow the energy. It's, that's why we look at biofeedback. Now we're going to look again, and I want us to look back at the telegraph. Look where the telegraph came, and now we have computers, cell phones, what we have today. 
We're just as ancient and archaic when it comes to bioenergy on earth. People haven't even learned their ABC 123s of bioenergy and by uh, bodies of light with Lightworkers International. You learn your 123 ABCs of bioenergy. But see, this is going to change. And if you look at my wrist and we look at the technology of today, we look at the technology of a lie detector. A lie detector, they put you on these leads and they're testing what? They're testing bioenergy. They're testing resistance. They're testing that energetic basis. Right now, people are just checking blood pressure. <laughs> they're just checking uh, like these very, very simple things. The heart rate, the EKG, but there's very, very, very much more going on. There's percentages of all your organs. And on, from your wrist, you can check the resistance, the biofeedback of what's going on. I was uh, getting in touch with Bill Gates' people years before he ever, uh, way before he ever did his foundation for nonprofit. And I knew that there was something that he could do with bioenergy that would change mankind. At the time, I felt it was a handheld device that people could put their hand on it and you would be able to tell when you, the resistance was lowering and as people's energy was going up. Now, if a person is at a 10 or they're at a billion units of energy, a billion is 100 million times more. Now, is that wild? Do we like it? Yes. Let me know you're alive. Yes? Okay, so, <laughs> so it's a billion is 100 million times more bioenergy. So you understand what this means. What does this mean in IQ? This means, you understand, the intelligence quotient, when a person has low bioenergy, when their heart chi is low, when their stomach is low, when they barely have enough energy to do anything, their IQ is low. They can't do a lot. It's like you're energetically handicapped. And so in the future, when a person had an upset with their wife or their anger upset and their energy is zero, they're lowering everyone's energy, what are they going to do? They're probably going to say... Yeah, maybe go home and, and take a day off. It'll be like a low energy day. You know? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> so <laughs> we're evolving. So, and I say, and I actually sent in, and so I, I was sending thing, I was, I was hoping that, that uh, Bill Gates would be interested in bioenergy. He did do some stuff with the One campaign. And then I, I signed up with Apple not long ago, and I saw so much hope in their watch. And so much hope in technology blending with bioenergy. Now, in bioenergy, if you could know and be able to tell that bioenergy, bioenergetically, that resistance was lower and the person was at a billion units, how awesome would that be? But unfortunately, of course, Apple hasn't gotten in touch with me. Of course, if Samsung wants to get in touch, in touch with me, you can. So either Apple or Samsung, just get in touch, and I'll tell you the ideas I have on this watch. But basically, with the watch, you could test the bioenergy. You could test the percentages of the organs. You could even take chia food in the food testing and have it to where you held a piece of food and when you held this piece of food, you could tell the resistance happening on your skin because you understand who knows if that food's good or bad for you more than you. Nobody. Only you know if that food's bad. Right now, the bioenergy, people just go, oh, I feel a little nauseous just looking at the fruit, right? You didn't know it's rotten. You're, the person didn't know it's rotten. Now, if you had that special watch, you know, right now they, they're, they're creating watches that do heart rate and... And, and pulse and I mean really the future of what we're talking about is going to be able to test some, something much 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 more magnificent something that's going to be part of part of our civilization evolving to higher and better form and the thing that's going to do that is blending bioenergy technology is going to be part of that so what do you guys think so far? Fabulous. Yeah. Right. So now, where does that go? So as, as we notice that some part, some people who are doing bodies of light, releasing their dark core, they're going from 10 to a billion, trillion, septillion, higher than that. What is that bioenergy? Tell me, what is it you feel? And let me come around, and we're going to actually come. What is it you feel that bioenergy, what is that bioenergy doing for you? It's adding 
adding more flow and making life easier. Right, so it's adding, let me see if I can take this, so it's, what's it doing? More flow of the energy and making life easier. So what is it, how would you say, how much smarter do you feel? <laughs> Or how much, what, how's life just, changing? Uh, just, I'm um, more at peace and harmony and having ease with different situations. Right. Do you, now, what, what percent do you think that's changing life? It's 100%. 100%. So 100% is quite high. So what, what would you say, what would you say is, is different? Uh, everything just gets easier. And uh, when I, when I want to learn something or I'm stuck on a problem, I'll actually just sit quietly. I'll do my body's a light. And then 10 or 15 minutes later, the answer will come to me or, you know, either the answer directly or where to find it. Something right. like that. It's just incredible how easy it is and how much peace there is and how much more health there is and everything. So Yeah, so the, the, whole, the whole thing here is that things, our civilization, and come over here. So I, I'm going to have another person who, who's going to talk about, what, so what is it that you feel is happening? See, you've done a lot of work. You've raised your vibration to phenomenal heights. How, what do you think is happening to mankind or what's happening in your life? Uh, in my life, personally, I would talk about the speed of manifesting. So whether I have um, a sad thought or a happy thought, it unfolds immediately, which is kind of a nice way to keep me on the path of loving, sharing, and caring, as opposed to anything negative. Beautiful, beautiful. So thank you. So thank you so much. So what I'm getting at here is that there's a lot changing. When I talk about bioenergy being the greatest leap, I'm, I'm being honest here. The thing is, is that people change. People, people's entire life change. And so bioenergetics is where, where it's at. When you look at also the bioenergetics in medicine, we're going to evolve with technology that tests the percentages of organ systems, where someone is at. Like I said, the watches, the idea of the eye watch evolving to higher and better form would be beautiful. Are we, are we done? Are we, uh, no. is there someone who's coming in yet? So also, and the thing is, is that what's going to happen, what, what is happening is that we're going to start realizing that even those people who have memorized a lot and, you know, maybe, maybe gotten to a high level of schooling, that there's one of the things that relates a lot with success and a lot with changing and evolving mankind to higher and better form. And that is, that's bioenergy. And so you could have someone who is a PhD, but if they're zero, if their organs are shut down, if their brain is shut down, they're energetically handicapped. So all that book learning, all that school learning doesn't really make a hill of beans if their bioenergy is that low. You're going to notice that some of the most successful, some of the smartest, some of the most brilliant people that have changed mankind for the better have had very, very high bioenergy. And, and some of these people you wouldn't even think of scientists like Mother Teresa. Very high bi bioenergy. person like the Dalai Lama. Very, very, very high bioenergy. Uh, we've had, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but certain presidents have had very high bioenergy. And, and you can almost tell, and certain presidents have had lower bioenergy. I don't want to say who they are. But they really, when you look at civilization as a whole, when, we're, when the masses of people start being able to know these one, two, threes of bioenergy, what's good for me makes me stronger. People can tell in the buys of light and light worker system when you look at someone if they have high bioenergy. Once millions of people can feel that energy, can feel that someone's at a billion, can feel that someone's very high energetically. All I'm going to say is that in closing, that bioenergy is the chance for our civilization to take that next great leap. And different parts of the world may actually take on to this quicker. You may have certain countries where maybe in India, where a lot of, lot of people start understanding bioenergy and where they may make a big leap, uh, you know, with their, their national uh, science and technology and everything from that sort. Okay, so come on back in. Come on back. We're having fun. Okay, so now, what, what, what was your, this is of course your first time with experiencing Bi's Light. So how was it for you? Uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah, so yeah. now, how do you feel? 
A lot more like excited. A lot more excited. So you could say that that translates into awareness. Now, let's say a person's at work and they have a lot more awareness and productivity. Imagine that. Imagine that when we become to the point where people are doing bodies of light and people are raising their bioenergetics, raising their vibration to the level that they're more productive, to the level that they're more capable, to the level that evolves our entire civilization higher because of course it's our youth that's going to take our civilization higher. Now everyone go to right brain and let's test 0, 9, 10, 10. And that's actually 100. So 100 is 10x. So if we were looking at like a computer processor and our brain is way more evolved than a computer processor. So we're at like 100 times, you know, 10x, 10 times like just off the charts with brain power in the right brain. We go left brain, 1, 9, 10, 10, 20, 9, 100. We're about 100 on the left brain as well. Thank you so much. So the whole thing is this, is that the bioenergetics, we're good. The bioenergetics of what we're looking at as a civilization makes all the difference. We have a lot of people that think that they're just a body, that they're just, they're just a human. When you do bodies of light and you start opening up your energetics, your bioenergetics, you become more happy. You have more of you flowing through you into everything you be, do, and have. Not only does this change you, but it changes everyone around you. It evolves your entire group higher. We evolve our entire country higher, our entire world higher. The protection of our world, the protection of our nation, the protection of our community, the protection of our groups, the protection of us happens when you are willing to open up that flow of energy through you, that creative flow of light, that creative flow of healing energy. And I call it bioenergy. And it's the energy from you. So I encourage you to do bodies of light. I encourage you to join the League of Lightworkers International. I encourage you to take that next great leap to not only heal you and evolve your life and evolve your intelligence, but to evolve everything around you. And uh, everyone here, give us a big yell. This is great. Thank you. Signing off and uh, enjoy the journey.